All right, guys. Well, today we're looking at the Xmark Turf Tracer. So many of you guys wanted to see the demo on this unit. Now, this is just a demo. Xmark did drop this off to us to shoot a couple of videos actually for you guys to keep as some uh, evergreen content on YouTube for some of you guys that might be in the market for a turf tracer. Now, if you guys don't know, we mow lawns up here in Metro Detroit, Michigan. Normally, we're rocking an Xmark Laser Z. Uh, but I did get started here with an Xmark Viking, which is sort of like the sister or the cousin to the Xmark Turf Tracer. Uh, the difference being the full floating deck, right? As you guys can see here that this deck floats, it moves, it's adjustable, albeit the deck pins. Now, my Xmark Viking was a fixed deck, and I think back in the day that might have been 15 horsepower. Today we are rocking a Kohler power plant. Uh, I forget the CC, I think it's like 694 maybe. Don't quote me on that, but it's around 21 horsepower if I'm not mistaken on this unit. Now, we added this, this is actually out of my pocket. Uh, Xmark didn't pay for this. Uh, it was about 400 bucks, believe it or not. So we threw in for this just to invest into the channel, invest into you guys checking these out. Uh, back in the day with my Viking, I used to have the Jungle Gyms uh, accessory Sulky, Velky, wheelie cart, whatever you guys like to call it. This is the Pro Sulky, and it's different because it turns with you, right? The Jungle Gyms used to articulate and bend. This one, when it turns, you swing out. All right, so if you guys are new here, uh, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, we're all about lawn care, landscaping on this channel, and helping you guys grow <clears throat> a more successful business, right? Well, I'm smiling already because this just takes it back for me 16 years ago when I got started with a business of my own. And I had no idea what I was doing, right? So this right here is a staple uh, lawnmower out there in the commercial lawnmower industry, in the lawnmower community, right? Have you guys ever rocked a turf tracer or did you get started with a turf tracer? I put a little question and feeler out there on Instagram actually. And so many of you said that you still rock them every day and your first mower was a turf tracer. How cool is that? All right, so as we just take another quick little walk around here, we'll get into mowing, show you guys what things, this thing's all about. Uh, gas can, uh, don't quote me, this looks like maybe three to five gallons. And this is a solid, solid entry lawnmower. PTO, throttle, you gotta push it forward so this has those ECS controls. So if you let go and the hydros are pushed forward, you can see how that lever defaultly is moving, right? Now if you wanna go back, double reverse on the ECS controls, right? And then this is your PTO safety. Now, most of these mowers are, believe it or not, getting up there in price. Uh, I would say this is the predecessor to the stand-on mowers that so many of us know and use today. Believe it or not, these things are about nine grand done right. Now there's a 48, a 52, a Kawi engine. So I'd love to hear if you guys have one of these, what's your setup. Uh, but for this unit being nine grand, Definitely a solid investment. Now the big allure to a lot of the walk behinds is hill stability, they're, they're weighing less so you can put them on properties that are uh, a little bit more wet or a little bit more compact and you can ditch off of these a lot easier, right? So that's why a lot of guys rock these walk behinds. So anyway, enough of me jibber jabbering. let's go to work, let's go mow. We'll show you guys what this thing is all about.
you can see my stripes are a little a little wobbly. I haven't been on a Viking or a, or a Turf Tracer in, gosh, 15 years. But look at these stripes. Looking really nice. And uh, this Pro Slide, I, what is it called? The Pro Zulky, I like it. Um, what I don't like is that when I go backwards, it kind of dips, so I'm kind of cutting into the turf, or when I took it off the trail, it kind of hits that cement, so you gotta lift it up, which isn't atypical of Salkies, but this is just different for me. Like, you get flung on the back end, so. Anyway, let me double cut this really quick. We got seven inches of rain in seven days, so this stuff is really thick. I think we're kind of mowing it about three and a half. It's a little soft. I'd probably drop it down, uh, but overall, pretty good cut. guys well we are all done mowing those couple properties here and, and the thing is wet it is muddy and like Rob was just pointing out we have some uh, fun stuff that came along with it amen but uh, we'll power wash this off before we give it back to X mark amen but uh, anyway this is the the turf tracer by the way some that I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask is this the tracking here so if it's varying too much to the right or to the left you can always use it for uh, tightening that and then also the parking brake Boom. Now one thing, I wish it was a little bit higher up on the arm somehow. Some linkage that would be able to come up here. I mean, we're able to do that with the ECS. So a little critique there, but any which way. Uh, and then one other thing that still is uh, good and also interesting is that, you know, you still have to change the deck height with the pins, you know. Unfortunately, there's no deck lift assist. I'm sure it cost a gab on this mower, but any which way. So this is the first quick little video we're going to do for uh, X Mark, just to just sure you know not really here to sell it on you guys or anything like that just trying to let you guys know that it still exists and so many of you guys still rock these it's crazy now of course standards are taking the world by storm uh but this is still a solid mower if you guys are just looking to get started cutting grass of course the different sizes so check it out xmark.com and uh you know leave a thumbs up if you guys appreciate the video and over and out guys we'll catch up with you here on the next one